ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This time we are going to be talking about the Assassin's Creed movie, which has just released in the United States today. Or maybe it's tomorrow, depends when I release this video. And there's also been a lot of reviews that are coming out. And now I'll start by saying I haven't seen the movie personally, because, well, it's not out yet. At least where I live in Australia. I believe it's January 1st that the Assassin's Creed movie comes out. So it's about a week and a half before I'll be able to see it. I'll try to get there and see it as soon as I can, really. But I wanted to talk about whether or not I'm excited to see the movie. And I'm not going to really base it on whether the reviews are good or not, even though I've read quite a few reviews, whether it be from fans, whether it be from, you know, professional reviewers, if you want to call them professional. Uh... But I'm going to talk about why or why not I am or am not excited for this movie based solely on what I've seen from the movie itself, not from what other people have said about it. Now, of course, there's a lot of controversy surrounding the movie right now based on critics have been pretty much bashing it for a lot of reasons, and you can chalk that up to them not really being fans of the game, them not really understanding the premise, it being a bit of a far-fetched idea and concept that they can't really... I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Suspend disbelief, I guess. But then you got fans who I trust having mixed reviews. Some really like it, some really don't like it, and those are based on fan points of view, so it's really just up in the air whether you're going to like it as a fan or not. All I can say is I think all fans should see it and at least give it a chance. Now, am I excited for it? The short answer is absolutely not. I haven't been excited for this for a long time. I've tried to be, I've wanted to be, I just haven't, and I'm not excited to see this movie. I have very low expectations for this movie. However, I'm still going to see it. Because, well, other than the fact that I have to, um, I am an Assassin's Creed fan. I have an Assassin's Creed bloody YouTube channel. Obviously, I'm going to see it, and I'm going to let you guys know what I think of it, as well as talk about it on the Kill Connor Club, have a, few, a full spoiler cast for the Kill Connor Club, talking about it, yada yada yada, and see what James and myself think. But for me, going in, I mean, there's a lot of reasons I have low expectations. I mean, do I think the movie looks bad from what I've seen in the trailers? Not necessarily. I think the trailers have been bad, if that makes sense. Like, they haven't been terrible. There's been, like, two of them have been bad trailers, and I've laughed at them. And then some of them have been, oh, you know, I'm like, oh, this is cool, you know, interesting, let's see what, let's see what happens. Does that mean the movie's going to be bad or not? No, that doesn't change my expectations for the movie because the trailer is how they, the reason I haven't liked the trailer is the vibe they're going for, the tone of it, and the music and shit like that. Nothing really that may or may not affect the movie. The movie itself, I have low expectations for because it's a video game movie. There's almost no good video game movies. That's just that simple fact. Could Assassin's Creed be that game movie to break the mold? Perhaps. But from what I'm looking at, no, because it's Assassin's Creed. And Assassin's Creed isn't the type of game I've ever thought could translate well into a movie. I've never thought it could. I think they've done some short things really well because, again, they're just to add to the games, or they're trying to add to a character from a game, they're not trying to be a standalone item, like you're talking about Assassin's Creed Embers or Lineage, they're to link to Assassin's Creed 2 or Assassin's Creed Revelations and stuff, they're not this standalone story that needs to stand on their own, this is a movie that should be able to and needs to stand on its own, and that's a worry, because games and a story in the world of Assassin's Creed, you've got to get across this lore, you've got to get across this whole concept of the animus of, of Abstergo, of this world in the modern day, as well as be able to address an interesting and viable ancestor storyline. You've got two separate storylines in what, at most I expect this movie to be two hours long, I can't imagine they're going longer than that in their first attempt at this. You know, that's not a lot of time to do all those things they need to do to put up a movie that's not just entertaining, that's not just passable, that gives fans and, as well, casual new viewers, it doesn't have to be all of them, just enough for Ubisoft to be able to go and make a second one, to improve from where they've gone. I don't want the movie to be bad. Why would I? Why would I want the movie to be bad? I mean, other than the fact that I really don't like that they're doing a movie at all, because I don't think they should have. 
because again, I just don't expect it to translate well into the big screen. Again, I'm talking from the perspective of someone who hasn't even seen it yet. This is just what I'm going in with. I'm still going to see it, give it a chance. If anything, I'm really hoping my low expectations make the movie, even if it's just good, I'll really like the movie because I expected it to be way worse. I'll be like, holy shit, that was actually really good. I expected it to be bad and I'll really enjoy it. So this is like, to me, the best place to set my expectations. So if it is bad, man, I'm really, I am going to shit on it. If this movie's bad, I'm going to shit hardcore on it. But a lot of fans have seemed to enjoy it, which is good to hear. Hopefully, as a fan myself, I'll love it and just at least think it was good and I'm like, it stayed true to the games. It had an interesting storyline, yada, yada. That's the best at the moment I can really hope for from this movie. With their first attempt at this, being only two hours long and how to translate a game like Assassin's Creed into a you know, movie screen... That's really tough. They're doing good things. First of all, from what I've seen production-wise, uh, they've taken the practical effects very seriously. Star Wars has, have kind of spearheaded that in the last couple of years and making sure CGI isn't the be-all, end-all. If you can make it practical effects, make it practical effects. You don't need to do CGI. That doesn't make it look more real. If you do it really... It makes it look more real, so that's really cool how they've done it. Obviously, you saw the leap of faith behind the scenes. Many of you have seen it, at least, where they actually did the leap of faith, filmed it properly, a guy jumping off this big crane and onto, like, a beanbag thing, and that stuff's the stuff I want to see. I've heard the fight scenes are really cool. That stuff I like. I like the fact that they're not basing the movie off of a game. If you're going to make it stand on its own, you can't make the... Assassin's Creed 1 storyline into a movie. That just won't work, because that is a storyline that it goes for... Uh, you know, 10 to 15 hours long, and you're trying to now condense it. You are making and writing a movie f that's for a movie screen. You're not writing an Assassin's Creed game and trying to make it a movie. So that's good. I like that they did that. It's the only way you could have done it. However, just being Assassin's Creed itself, just being what a fan is used to, or even just all the stuff that is involved in Assassin's Creed that they got a nail, it's just, I just can't imagine them fitting in it into two hours that's just so hard to do to do it successfully i think especially because the biggest uh plus for me of any assassin's creed storyline any assassin's creed game is obviously the ancestor storyline and the problem i have going into this right is they've talked about it being a majority of it is a modern day story from reviews lots of people have said even assassin's creed fans go the biggest uh, gripe i have is the fact that the best part of it is the ancestor storyline and that's not much of the movie, most of the movies in the modern day in Abstergo, and that's really, you know, I can't disagree with someone saying that that's not that interesting uh, compared to an action-packed ancestor storyline that's filled with mystery. Now, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I go in thinking, well, that's actually pretty intricate and cool. I hope they do Abstergo really well and make it interesting. We'll just have to see what it's like, and I obviously don't want to spoil anything I've heard, but I don't really know much other than those couple of little things, so I, I can't really, I don't want to spoil it for myself either. Going into it, look, based on past Assassin's Creed, not Assassin's Creed, pa based on past video game movies, based on the way Assassin's Creed works, I just don't see it translating well into a movie. I don't see video game movies being very good, you know, in the past for any franchise. So those are two reasons I'm not excited. Um, for me, putting a movie like Assassin's Creed you know, to me, it is a burden on the franchise. The main reason I'm not excited is because I kind of resent the movie. I think to myself, this movie is a burden on the franchise. We've now got to address things in the games from the movies, because it's canon. We've also got to address things from games in the movie itself. And you've got this new animus that I think is fucking stupid looking and ridiculous. And they've got it now in this new book, Assassin's Creed Heresy. I can only imagine it means they're pushing that forward in the next games. And I do think it's stupid. And they only really made it for the movie to try to make it interesting. Which, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. But just seeing the animus, I don't see how it's going to make it entertaining. I think it makes it look stupid. And they're going to really try to push the modern day on you more than the ancestor story. So there's just all those reasons. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You're just being a burden. You're not being a positive contribution to the franchise, especially since the fact, more often than not, if the franchise is going really well right now, they were making very extremely high qu quality, critically acclaimed games or even just acclaimed games in the fan base, 
I'd be like, go and write these extra books, go and make a movie, your franchise has gone really well, at least we've got these great games, try to add to it if you can, but right now, we're in a rough spot with the games, I've had to take a year off, they've just released a remaster of the Ezio collection this year, we're hoping for a really big return in 2017 or early 2018 with Assassin's Creed Empire, you know, right now we're in a bit of a lull with Assassin's Creed, and adding a movie to it at this time of the franchise, I just don't think is a positive, I don't think it's a great idea right now, maybe back when the Ezio trilogy was going on, leading into Assassin's Creed 3, around that time period, if you're putting out a movie, that's your prime time to do so, and obviously it takes so many years to make a movie, so it's understandable they've been planning it since then, and only now they've been able to, you know, pre-production, get the green light, create it, make it, post-production, release it. Obviously, that's a huge process. This is kind of the quickest they could do it. But it's just very tough, very tough time to put something of this magnitude, of this money cost into this franchise at a period that, you know, anything they do that's of this caliber can make or break it. That's the tough thing about it. So it makes me worried, it makes me think it's a burden on future games and, you know, canon for the franchise. It, I also don't see them translating well into the movie and I just don't see video game movies being a viable thing that's of high quality. I hope I'm wrong, I hope I go and watch this and I'm excited. I'm not excited, I hope I really enjoy it because right now I'm just not excited. I just don't see how they can make it not just passable, it needs to be good. It has to be good for me to not shit on it. If it's just a pass, I'm like, yeah, that was average. I'm going to shit on it because it's just, there's, there's no excuse to put, do what they've done at this time of the franchise and not make something of high quality. I at least hope it's good enough to make a sequel so they can improve for it, so they can see where they went wrong. So they, I'm sure they know the things they went wrong already. And they're like, okay, if we get a chance to make a second one, because they're already planning to make two and three, but if this doesn't sell well, it doesn't matter whether they're planning to make a second and third, you, they're not making one ever again. This has to go well and has to be good. Obviously, many of you that are going to leave comments have already seen the movie and are going to tell me, no, it's awesome, you're wrong, Tyler, you should love it, you're going to love it. Look, trust me when I tell you, nothing any of you are going to say about how good it is is going to change my mind. Nothing. I don't care how good any of you have seen it think it is. This is my opinion, and this is what I'm going to have going into the movie, because no one else's opinion really affects mine. This is how I feel going in. Until I see the movie, I'm not going to let any reviews or anyone's biased affect whether I like the movie or not. I'm going to go in with an open mind, however, having a certain expectations. Hopefully, they're just exceeded. Hopefully, it's a good movie, and I want to see more. That's all I'm going to say. I've been blabbing on enough. So, that's all from me today, ladies and gentlemen. I am not excited for this movie. I'm going to see this movie, and I will let you all know what I think of it. But for those of you that have seen the movie, obviously no spoilers for anyone that hasn't. No spoilers in the comments, because I will delete the comments. I don't want to have to do that, but I will if you spoil it. Plus, I'm going to be pissed off at you, and I may blacklist you from the channel, because I don't want things spoiled for me, so don't be a dick. But leave, you know, vague opinions of whether, yeah, it was good, you know, why or why not, based on very general shit. I don't mind that if you're giving just very general, no specifics whatsoever of the movie. I'm happy with that to say whether it was good, bad or not. And for those of you that haven't seen it, let me know if you want to see it. Let me know if you're excited or not in the comments down below. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed. If you did not and you think, shut the fuck up, Tyler, dislike it, go ahead. It just means more money for me anyway. And subscribe if you are new to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I love you all and I will see you next time.